Chase Nancy here bringing you yet another tutorial. Now, on today's show, we're gonna sew. I'm gonna show you a very simple sewing project that you can do with whatever fabric you have laying around. Today we're gonna be making the simplest thing since a pillowcase, a decorative bow. You could have something flashy like this or something subtle like this. See, subtle. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just tie a bow with ribbon? Well, because those are ugly and no one likes those. I'm gonna show you how to do a very advanced, nice little decorative bow you can stick in your hair, put on your butt, put on your clothes. You can do anything with it. It's up to you. You're the creative one. <laughs> Let me run down the list of things you're gonna need. You're gonna need, of course, a sewing machine. You could use a hot glue gun too, but let's face it, you love yourself a little bit more than that. Okay, so the settings on this are super simple. We're gonna be using a straight stitch for this, so we're gonna set our dial to number nine. We're gonna want a little more resistance, so we're setting our tension dial to number five. Also, you're gonna need something to cut the fabric out, so I'm using a good pair of scissors. You're gonna need a thread that matches your fabric closely. I'm using something that's a little darker, it's more of a dark rosy color, that way you can see it on camera better. And you're gonna need your fabric. I'm using a nice sturdy fabric like this. The denser the fabric, the better it will sew for a bow because you want that structure. And of course, you're gonna need some decorative fabric. I'm using a swatch of some glittery fabric. This is gonna add that decorative touch to your bow. This step is optional, but I like for my stuff to have a little bit more pizzazz. Now, stay tuned while I show you how to make a decorative bow. Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial. All right, let's sit down and let's sew this bow. First, we're gonna take our fabric and put it in a fold. We're gonna cut off the fold and use that as a guideline for how large we want our bow to be. You can make this bow as big as you want. It's completely up to you. I'm doing something a little bit on the smaller side because I don't want a huge massive bow on this fabric because I wanna use it for a different project. This is a great side project to do for an outfit if you wanna add a few more accessories to it. Or if you just want to use some of that old swatch of fabric that you don't think you're going to use again, use it for this. And you want the fabric to be folded long hot dog style. It's kind of like in grade school. Now that you have your fabric greeting card, keep it folded that way. Take out some straight pins and pin it together. This is an optional. This is quite an easy cutout. You don't really need the pins, but I just like the added bit of precaution, you know, because you never know what might go wrong. Now this guy is pinned, we're going to feed it through the sewing machine. It does not really matter what end you start on. We're just going to sew along the sides just to close off all of those seams. You could backstitch it as well to lock in your seams, but this is such an easy sew that you really don't have to worry that much about it. It's not going to come apart. Now that it's all sewed together, we're going to pull apart the center. Take each side and just pull it apart so that it's separated from the inside. And taking your scissors, you're going to cut one side in the center creating a slit in the back of it. This is gonna act as the back of your bow. And then we're going to take the fabric and pull it inside out of itself. That way you can see the nice rectangle you just sewed together. You could trim the edges of excess thread if you want to, or you could just tuck it inside of it. And be sure to go in with your fingers and poke along the sides of it, bringing out the corners because they're gonna stay folded in if you don't, and it's not gonna look right when you put the finishing touches on. And taking that bit of swatch fabric, I'm going to fold that down and we're going to sew a seam along it. We're going to do it the same way we did the bow, where we sew it hot dog style. So it's a long tube. Place a couple pins in it, get it looking nice and straight because this is stretchier fabric. So it's going to want to go a little crazy on you and move around a lot. So you got to really have that resistance in it. So be sure to pin it. All right, and we're going to feed that through our sewing machine, getting a nice straight stitch in it. You don't really have to worry about using a stretch stitch for this fabric because it's not going to stretch. We're just using it to finish off a garment, so it doesn't really matter how you sew it. Just as long as there's a nice straight stitch in it, it should be fine. And like we did before, we're going to turn that inside out of itself. Be sure to take all the pins out and then we're going to just take your time, go slow with it, because if you go too fast, you might poke a hole in one of the seams and you have to resew it and it's just going to be a pain in the butt. But it's going to look a little weird, like an uncircumcised, you know, wiener or something. All right, we're going to lay that flat and be sure to have it flat against the table. Now we're going to gather the fabric. What gathering is, is taking pinches of fabric and creating ruffles with it. This is gonna create that basic structure of the bow and be sure to have that cut we made in the back of it in the back of the bow. That's gonna be the back of it, be sure of that. 
taking that scrap fabric, we're going to wrap that around the front. And be sure to have the seam of the scrap fabric in back as well. You don't want that front and center for the world to see because it's just not attractive looking. And we're going to put a basic stitch in the back of that to connect the two together. And take your scissors and cut off the excess and you're good to go. Stick a pin in there and you have a hair bow or just stitch it to a costume. It's completely up to you. I'll see you guys soon. And if you're not interested in sewing, just look at my cleavage and wait for the video to be over, okay? Welcome back. <laughs> this is the final result. See, you could do so many things with this. You could put this on your outfit, put it on a handbag, put a clip on it and put it in your hair. I think I'm gonna do that right now, actually. <gasps> look at that. I'm the prettiest girl on YouTube. Now, I know you all have been asking me for merch, and I finally got some. If you go to jamesmansfield.com slash store, you can pick up my cosmetic bags. Look at that. Look at that bag. You can put so much in that. You want that bag. And, of course, my handy-dandy James Mansfield pocket mirrors. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. I also have apparel available now. Just go to www.dragqueenmerch.com slash collection slash James hyphen Mansfield and pick up some of my fabulous t-shirts. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what you want to see next. If you have any ideas, be sure to write them down below. I am listening. Until next time, kittens. Bye. Click here and see me style a ponytail with Arda wigs or see me kind of get ready with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Come on, click it. Click it. Your father's love is inside. You know you want that.